with the Go MRI Man. Spread the knowledge. Motivate the people. Yo, what's up? It's MRI Man coming back to you once again. And I'm doing this video. It's for one of my subscribers. His name is Diego. And he has a question about you know whether to become a CT tech or MRI tech. He wants to know the differences. And Diego's in high school and he's looking at, you know, starting a career once he gets out. So that's pretty awesome. So um, the radiologic technologist, uh, the YouTuber, he has a, also a website, the radiologic technologist.com. Very great. He has a lot of articles. He actually has an article on this, which I'm going to put in this, the description, uh, talking about, you know, comparing the two modalities, uh, CT and MRI. So. I'm going to kind of go through that and, you know, get my opinion on it and let you know what's up. So for CT, let's start it off. It says um, CT does, does pay more than the general uh, rad text, which is like x-ray. So CT is going to pay more than x-ray, uh, but not that much more. This is what he's saying. And then it goes over to MRI. MRI traditionally pays quite a bit more than CT, but it varies in location. Um, CT is a very high paced um, and you only see each patient for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes, boom, boom, boom. Very busy in CT. MRI is at a slower pace and you see each patient typically, you know, 30 minutes, could be 45 minutes. That is true. I agree with that. Um, CT has interventional procedures that are similar to operating, uh, similar to operating room procedures. So you know they're doing different things uh relating to that um mri has very few procedures outside of the normal pace of scanning so we do some stuff like mri biopsies but in ct i guess you know there's more going on i, I don't know too much about what they do in that aspect um, overall ct gives you a variety um i guess of different kind of patients uh trauma level excitement on a regular basis time per patient is minimal changes on the fly are often needed and eat and ct so yeah um ct you're going to see a lot of trauma patients especially if you're working in a hospital fast pace quick bunch of you know as soon as these trauma patients get to the hospital i'm sure they hop into ct real quick especially if they're in a lot of pain you know they need something quick overall mri has a slow but steady pace and you spend much more time with each patient um, pre-checks he's talking about checking the patient if they have implants um, you know MRI safety got to change them so there's a lot of talking you got to do before you get an MRI patient on the table because they have something like a pacemaker or an implant that's not safe that could be an issue in CT patients can come up to you very quickly in uh, in ED uh, emergency department nurses transporters can show up at your door expecting the scan with no warning um, and MRI that's not the you know that's not the the way to do it you're gonna have to have uh, you're gonna have to screen the patient you got to make sure they have no implants um, there's a lot more pressure as an MRI tech you're taking the full liability and okay I definitely agree with that then he's talking about CT CT time CT protocols are typically five minutes or less. That doesn't include the patient's prep, getting the IV, getting them on and off table. So MRI is longer than that. There's rarely any scans that take 10 minutes. Uh, most of the scans are going to be like 30 minutes. Um, takes longer to get them on the table. You can have that patient there for like 45 minutes. Um, all right. So then he's talking about cross training time. So going from X-ray to CT or X-ray to MR. So CT takes around three months to get good. That's what he's saying. Uh, MRI could take at least, at least six months. A lot of things going on in MRI. Um, that, you know, I agree with. Uh, then he just talks about CT and MRI pay. Um, he's saying that MRIs typically, you know, always paid more than CT. Um, exam reimbursements, you know, how much that facil facility is getting. Um, he says CT last time he's, he's checked as an administrator. Um, they were bringing around 700 to 1,000, depending on the length of the study, contrast, post-work, etc. 
I don't know if that's per exam. That's in a hospital. Um, MRI, he's, he's saying 2,500 to 3,500 all day long. Okay. So he said, so at the end of the day, it looks like CT department is bringing in the lion's share of revenue of an imaging department. Still, MRI techs get paid more. So maybe at his, his uh, hospital, they're doing a lot more CT. So CT was generating more money. That could vary at different places. Outpatients, centers, I see MR making you know more money. So equipment costs. Let's see. CT and MRI, they're about the same cost. New 3T or a new 320-slide sli CT. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So both MRI, CT, new scanners are costing 1.5 to 2 mil. Um, you can get an old CT for, you know, less than a million dollars. Um, industry need for tech. CT techs are needed at every hospital and outpatient imaging facility. X-ray and CT are pretty basic imaging needs across the board. So many, uh, most hospitals, over 100 beds will need between 10 to 20 CT techs. MRI techs are needed at every hospital, but not necessarily every outpatient imaging center. Hmm. It is also common to have an MRI be on call and ready only at night. Okay. I've seen hospitals that, that don't staff MRI techs on the weekends. I typically see MRI departments operate on a team of five or six. That covers two scanners. Okay. So, yeah. So those are little things that you can you guys can check out um, the radiologictechnologies.com. Also, he's also a YouTuber. He puts videos out every I think like every Saturday he does live videos, so it's very interesting. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I can throw my two cents on it. Um, I'm an MRI tech, ART. I didn't go to school for X-ray or rad, rad tech. Um, I, MRI, I thought I felt like it was for me. Um, I didn't want to really deal with. Uh, doing any of those uh interventional exams and you know operating room stuff didn't want to do that didn't want to deal with the radiation um, i like the mri paste um, i like spending more time with the patient and i just seen how x-ray techs work uh, same thing with ct ct can be really busy and they're quick scans um, it kind of depends on what you want to do um, i would say keep researching uh, ask a lot talk to more ct techs i need to get a ct tech on here so i can ask more questions um the radiologic technologist his youtube channel youtube channel is great and he has a lot of good articles maybe i've been trying to get him on here because he does he does everything um but yeah man i hope this video helped you out um keep watching my videos and you have a lot of time you're very young consider going into phlebotomy you know if you're coming out of high school you guys um, consider doing phlebotomy. It's cheap. Um, you can be making some good cash coming out of high school and you can get ex exposed to everything. You can actually hang out, go to CT techs, talk to them, MRI techs, hang out, see what they do, see how they're feeling throughout the day, see what kind of troubles and issues they have. Um, I think it's a great modality. I mean, either way you go, CT, MRI, but you know, I always lean towards MRI. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Leave your questions below and I will answer them.